Oh, wow. I am back, guys. Thank you for sticking along. And uh, welcome to another edition of Smart Jack. The holiday season got to me. Busy, busy, busy. Do have a lot of videos to do, which I will post, as you could see, like a madman. Uh, but the first thing I want to talk about in this video is um, the NFL. It's an NFL video. The New York Giants, unless I'm completely wrong, uh, I think we'll bring back Tom Coughlin. And uh, I think, you know, looking at this right now, I think honestly that uh, my my prior opinion of Tom Coughlin is wrong. Um, honestly, just examining it, I think Tom Coughlin at the end of the day is uh, the best choice for the New York Giants to be the, uh, the coach. And the reason why, <coughs> if you look at it, uh, you can't really, just the way that they've been turning it on the last couple weeks kind of shows me a few things. Um, it, it took a while for the, for the Giants to get used to uh, the new offense since they have a new offensive coordinator. On top of that, um, you also have Eli Manning. With this new offense now, he's probably having one of his best seasons of recent years. A high completion percentage. Also, he's, uh, he's throwing less interceptions, obviously. Um, in the same regard, sticking on with the offense, uh, he did lose uh, Victor Cruz. Um, he also didn't have... Old Odell Beckham for the first five weeks. So you figure with a healthy uh, Beckham, uh, Beckham with a full season, with a healthy Victor Cruz, and now, um, you know, with the running back being healthy, hopefully, jury's still out on the, uh, the tight end, Donnell. Uh, but you figure having this offense a year under their belt, um, with a Beckham for the full year, hopefully a Victor Cruz healthy again. Got to see how he will come back from the injury. But it only could be better for the um, the New York Giants. In the same regards, too, I can't, uh, I know I've said this before, but looking at it now, I can't really say that um, Tom Coughlin has lost the locker room. Again, just by the way the team has been playing the last couple of weeks. Uh, in the same regards, too, uh, this team that they have right now, as far as the um, the Giants, their players have only been on this team, what, two years max? So his word is still fairly fresh. In the same regards, too, if you were to let go of Coughlin, who would you bring in as coach? There's really no one that would probably be a better, bring a better resume or be better than Tom Coughlin, honestly. Um, now, again, if Tom Coughlin doesn't do it next year, then it's time to get, let him go. Um, if I were looking at the Giants right now, what I would change is uh, maybe change the, uh, the defensive line, uh, the defensive coach, rather. Uh, you do need some uh, defensive linemen. Got to change around your offensive linemen. You need some help there. Interesting to see what will happen with Roll. Uh, Ruben Randall as well. Very interesting to see what will happen. <clears throat> he has all the potential, but the question is, does he really want it? So, um, you know, that's kind of where I stand with Coughlin. Uh, I think he is the best option. All his players are fairly new on the team. Just the new offense that they've brought in. Um, did have some injuries. Honestly, at the end of the day, I think it's um, I think it's the best um, best option. I think they're learning that new offensive system is really more than anything what uh, slowed them. It got off to a slow start, and the games that they did lose. Honestly, the teams were better than them. Um, 
Now, who's to blame? Maybe do you let go of the GM? Maybe because Coughlin didn't have the right players around him? Possibly. Change the defense? Yes. And, you know, that being said, the Giants really weren't blown out in so many games. Only really the game that really sticks out to me is the, uh, the Jacksonville Jaguars. In c complete control of that game, they had no business losing that game. But other than that, I think it's just misfortunate events with the Giants this year. Um, you know, injuries, they're out of the playoffs again, I understand. But at the end of the day, I think Tom, Tom Coughlin's word is still strong. And there's no one else out there that I think is better than his resume. Um, no one really comes to mind who you would bring in. Just my thoughts. Until next time, adios, over and out.